Officer Edwards? Yes, hello, hi. Do you recognize the woman in this photo? Um, yeah, uh, yeah absolutely. Um, uh, I think her name was, I'm almost sure it was Mary Parker. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, she, um, we'd gotten a call about a, um, a woman who had been uh, loitering in a parking lot of some businesses and uh, uh, we show up and this uh, Miss Parker had been uh, sleeping in her car for a few days and stuff and uh, she'd had a pretty rough time of it I guess I think if I remember correctly um, her boyfriend had kicked her out and uh, really kind of did a number on her emotionally and I think physically as well probably mm -hmm. um, she was really suffering and um, she didn't have any money, she didn't have a job, and uh, uh, I'm not even entirely sure the car was registered. So we uh, we assessed the situation and um, decided it was probably best to um, take her to a, a women's shelter mm -hmm. rather than take her downtown. Because, yeah. uh, um, you know, that, that was the Sunny Days Women's Shelter, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, um, you know, when I've been doing this, uh, um, when you've been doing this as long as I have, um, like you start to recognize like when somebody is trouble or like when somebody's actually in trouble. Mm -hmm. And uh, my gut just told me that that it was she was in trouble and she didn't. The last thing she needed was to be thrown in a jail cell with a bunch of mm -hmm. you know criminals. Yeah. Um, and How long ago did this happen? Um, if I am correct. Uh, sorry, it's the cop in me. I just want to be specific. No, we're not. Am I on trial? Uh, I'm so used to being in a courtroom. Sorry. But I think it was about two years ago. It was about two years ago. Oh, okay. Uh, and so it was right around the new year. And that's when you saw her. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it would have been. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was just after Christmas for sure. I remember that specifically. Um, I don't know if it was after the new year or not. But clearly it was like a... It was like the holidays and she was, you know, like I said, sleeping in her Mm -hmm. uh, really kind of heartbreaking to tell you the truth. I mean, I see, you know, you see people all the time and you try to get tough and stuff, but sometimes it just, it just gets you. Mm -hmm. And you know. so what, what told you to help her? What made uh, you want to help her? That's a good question. Um, along about that same time, um, my sister was having, um, a lot of trouble. She had been dating this really bad. She would moved out of the state. She wasn't talking to us. Her, you know, my parent, her, our parents. She wasn't talking to me, her family and stuff. And she was with this really bad guy who I think was really, again, like doing some serious emotional and probably, and I know, physical damage to her. And thankfully, somebody found her on the streets and was able to get her to some help. I don't know, if, I don't think it was a cop or I might've been a paramedic or something, but um, an officer. Uh, and then she called us and came home. It was just a, and when I saw uh, Miss Parker in her car, it just reminded me of my sister and how someone had helped her. Mm -hmm. And if somebody hadn't helped my sister, I don't know if she would be alive today. And so, you know, my sister's not a criminal. My sister's made some bad decisions and she got with a bad guy, but what she needed again was help. She didn't need um, handcuffs. And I know we get a bad rap and stuff, but you know, we're just out here trying to help defend to make sure that people have a safe city to live in and people have decent lives and they feel like they can, you know, go about their day without worrying that, you know, some criminal is gonna hurt them or hurt their family or hurt their lives or hurt their property. Um, and I just, I don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I guess that's to answer your question. Uh, she just reminded me of my sister, Miss Parker did, and I just wanted to, give her a chance to, uh, and it was the new year and the holidays, and I just really wanted her to have a chance because so many people we just forget. And they just, we drive by, we roll up our windows when they ask us for money at the intersection, or we call the police and mm -hmm. tell them to come and get this person. And 
you know, it, it, those, they're human beings, they're just like us. They're, you know, they don't want to be living underneath the streets. They don't want to be living on the streets. They want, don't want to be sleeping in their cars. Everybody wants a nice home and a family. And mm -hmm. um, I just hope she got a chance at that. Yeah. Well, you haven't had contact with her since the day you brought her uh, to no, the shelter. No, I did call the shelter a week later. Mm -hmm. They said she was doing well. And was actually, I guess, they had her in some sort of job placement program. They, I, I, from all accounts, she was doing really well. So I didn't uh, check up on her later. Okay. Uh, but you haven't seen her around? Yeah, yeah, I know. I have for <laughs> almost two years. Very thankful, yeah, I have not seen her on the streets or I haven't gotten any calls. Had to respond to her sleeping in her car. So I hope either she's got out of the state or, uh, or she made some uh she got some better made some better choices and, mm -hmm. and improved her life well the um, reason why we brought you in today is because we have a special guest i wanted to thank you in person okay officer <laughs> oh my god i know are you is that I just wanted to say thank you because if it wasn't for your kindness, I wouldn't have been able to actually get out of the terrible situation I was. Now I'm happy and have an amazing job, 401k benefits, and I wanted to say thank you by giving you $5,000. Sometimes I feel like you guys don't get enough respect or credit since you saved my life. I could do something. Um, right I, you don't really have to. No, I have to tell you, just seeing you like this is more than anything. <laughs> no. I don't need that money. I just. No, please take it. Thank you again. So. You don't know what I'm. It's just nice to make a difference in somebody's life and not have it be. Because I took them to jail. No, you saved my life. <laughs> 